Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a grocery haul to share with you guys today. We went to Real Canadian Superstore and did the grocery pickup thing and I spent $360. Going into it, I didn't feel like, oh, we need so much stuff. Uh, that being said, it has been almost two full weeks. I think it's been 12 days since I last did groceries. So it makes sense that I spent that much. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I've got a full table, full counter. I will show you everything I picked up, um, and then I will show you our dinner menu. First off, flour. I got the big 10 kilogram bag of all-purpose flour, and then the five kilogram bag of, this is whole wheat flour. I got three bags of milk. On the way home, I was thinking, ooh, I wish I had gotten a fourth bag, because we typically eat or drink. <laughs> so in this big bag are three little bags, and typically we will eat, oh my goodness, we'll drink about one little bag a day. And we are just about out of milk in our fridge, so I should have maybe gotten a fourth, but that's okay. Uh, I did get a big tub of cottage cheese. I usually get the 2%, but I only saw 1% online today. I got three blocks of marble cheese. I got some yogurt. This one here is my favorite, the raspberry pomegranate. Um, and then I got cherry, and we've never tried this one. Oh, maple syrup. That is not what I ordered. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, I ordered a pink lemonade one. I'm sure I did, and we had never tried that one. We've never tried the maple syrup one either, so I guess that's what we're trying this week. Sometimes you get surprises when you do online grocery orders. I got two blocks of butter, two cans of tomato sauce, and then four cans of diced tomatoes. I don't have any plans for these this week on my menu, but it's just nice to have them in the pantry so they're ready to grab for an easy, easy meal. Uh, I got a big bag of these kettle cooked chips, a bag of blue corn chips. For cereal, I got two boxes of, these are the brown sugar, yeah, brown sugar, mini wheats, and then this big case, these two boxes come together of Honey Nut Cheerios. I have never seen this big bag, I think this is a new thing, that they sell this huge bag of oats. Usually I buy the one kilogram bag and then I have to buy like a few of them. Um, and then this is a two and a quarter kilogram bag, so perfect for our family. I got six cartons of apple juice, also back here six cartons of orange juice. Sounds like I need to go uh, see what's going on in the other room. I got two bags of frozen fruit. I believe they are both, yeah, both the four berry blend. I got two boxes of these. Let's see if I can find an upside up one. Um, oh, and it's French. Okay. Uh, chicken strips, frozen chicken strips. So those will go into our freezer. I got a couple boxes of crackers. These are the Asiago and sun-dried tomato crackers. Everything that I pull out, I have to like maneuver it back into its spot because my table is so full. I got some sea salt and then three bunches of bananas. I do have much more produce on the other counter, but this is what I have here. I got some tortillas and I got some poppy seeds because we've been wanting to make um, lemon poppy seed loaf and I didn't have any poppy seeds, so we got that. We also got a whole ton of chicken breast. I had said in my last grocery haul that I am working on um, clearing our freezer of meat and so I haven't been buying meat the last couple weeks. I want to use what's been there for months, but I could not turn down this deal of $3.77 a pound for fresh chicken breast. So I did get five cases of that. Yes, I'm sure this um, really jacked up the price of my grocery haul because each one of these packages are like $15. But I did move all the meat out of our outside freezer and put it into our inside freezer so I can still work on eating up all that stuff. And then these will go in the outside freezer so I can kind of keep track of like when we bought them and make sure we don't use these up before we use up um, the rest of our meat that's been there for longer. Anyways, so that's what's on the table. Over here on the counter, um, they had a deal on if you buy three cases of Bubblies. Uh, you get $3 off. So cherry and lime, those are a couple of my favorites. I have never bought orange and I don't know, I don't actually think it's gonna be one of my favorites because I'm not a fan of like orange pop, but I had never tried it and so I thought I'd like to. So we got those. Uh, we also got nest tea over the summer. We will typically have this, not often, but like every 
every couple weeks or so we'll have we'll have a nest tea like on a weekend the kids love that strawberries were on sale for it wasn't like super cheap it was like four dollars for two pounds but a good enough price that I wanted to get a few um, containers of strawberries so I got six containers so what's that 12 pounds I got two cases of these 30 eggs I got some apples some green peppers this today was my freebie I've shared with you guys before at Superstore one of my favorite things about shopping there is that if you spend $250 which uh, as you can tell I do no problem <laughs> um, they will give you some sort of freebie you don't get to choose but I did like this offer that was on this week for this freebie so this box is $25 um, value these caught my eye because I have never seen those I thought those looked really cute the Triscuit minis I got a bag of potatoes um, <laughs> I got a lot of tomatoes. So I went on onto the tomatoes on a vine item and I put in that I wanted four tomatoes. Uh, yeah, so I got four big old bunches of tomatoes. The funny thing is I have ordered tomatoes on a vine before and this hasn't happened to me. So I don't know if like the different grocery pickers kind of take that to mean something different or which one is correct. Either way, I have a ton of tomatoes to use up. I also have a lot of peppers to use up because when I first went on, I was like, oh, they don't have their colored peppers on. That's weird. So I bought some green peppers. And then later on in my grocery picking process, I saw that they did have these peppers. Later on that day, I thought, oh, I should go back on and adjust my order and take out at least a couple of green peppers so I don't have so many peppers this week. But I forgot, missed my chance to do that. So. Um, looks like I'll be making lots of Greek salad and like stir fries. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with all these tomatoes. <laughs> That's a lot of tomatoes. Uh, I got some carrots. I got a few cucumbers and then I got this package of six heads of lettuce and potatoes. Did I already say potatoes? I can't remember. Okay, I'm adding this later as Wesley's helping me put the groceries away. I realized as I was putting groceries away that I didn't have this. So I went... <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I went back in the van and found this sitting on the back seat. I will blame this guy for doing that because he was sitting in the back seat trying to help unload groceries, weren't you? Anyways, that's part of my order too. <laughs> Here are our dinners for this week. I am very excited for this tonight because I have some sourdough sitting and um, prepping to make these waffles tonight. And we'll do strawberries. Fresh strawberries and waffles are the best. And I have whipped cream, um, whipping cream that I have to whip up left over from my last grocery haul that we'll do with that. We are gonna do a meal of rice and um, black beans and ground beef. I put sour, sour cream and salsa in there. Really yummy. We're gonna do an easy chicken strips and potato wedges and raw veggies meal. Uh, tuna melts, this is a good way to use up some of the tomatoes. I do buns with um, like a tuna salad on it, a slice of tomato and cheese and stick those in the oven. That'll be a nice easy dinner. We're gonna do tacos, um, chicken breasts, Caesar salad, and I'm gonna make biscuits. Usually I would do garlic bread with this meal, but I haven't made biscuits in a while, so we're gonna do that. And then for our, what, seventh meal here, we're gonna do some sweet potatoes, probably sweet potato fries, uh, grill up some pork chops on the barbecue, and have corn with that. Thank you for watching this grocery haul. Comment down below and let me know what I should do with all these tomatoes. I probably should make some salsa or something. I haven't done that in a couple years, um, but that would be a good way to use up peppers and tomatoes and all that, so we'll see. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna see more from our family and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.